Hi, everybody. All right. So in the last video, we sort of mostly finished uh, sanding down the lower cowling to get it to fit. Uh, we were able to get it close enough, or at least around the rear, uh, mating with the uh, fuselage to be able to click it in place in a couple of spots on each side, which is good. But now we have to make sure that it fits all the way around, right? So with it click in place, that is sort of a nice, you know, or at least on the side up high, that lets the rest of it hang in a neutral, you know, unstressed position. So you can see I've got the uh, file out, and now it's just a matter of getting the bottom fit as well. So you can see the bottom cowling has a little scoop that comes out. That was... Uh, no, uh, well, that was the original design because the exhaust was going through the center tunnel. The exhaust doesn't go through the center tunnel anymore, and I do believe the new cowling design is flat along the bottom and just has two sort of outdented scoops where the, fuse, uh, where the uh, exhaust comes out now. Which is ironic because that's where my exhaust is going to be. Well, we'll, we'll see. I'm not, I'm not ordering the new bottom cowl. Let's just get that out of your mind. Alright, got a quick rant here. Haven't had one in a while. To the touchy-feely people of California that don't believe in, you know, hunting or game management, let's just, uh, let me just show you what happens on the streets near where I live. Oh, is that two turkeys? What are they doing? Oh. Worst amateur porn ever. Well, look, it is March. It's the beginning of turkey season, and that's what you get. Not that I have anything wrong with nature, I just want to say that, but, you know, turkeys are large, they're dangerous, they're very aggressive, uh, no one hunts them around here, it's amazing. I could just walk up to one with some bird feed, and then just grab it by the neck and throttle it to death. I mean, that, it's not going to end well for me, I'm going to have multiple lacerations on my skin from those extreme talons they have. I'm just saying... That is like two blocks from the airport, all right? Now, yeah, they don't fly like seagulls, but they can definitely fly high enough to, oh, I don't know, get sucked into a jet engine. I mean, Sully's retired, isn't he? We, we don't need a miracle on the San Francisco Bay, though. That's all I'm saying. End of rant. Okay. So, back to building. Um, we're hanging the lower cowling. Now, if you're going to be doing cam locks on an RV-14, and you're, <laughs> there's something that you might want to think about before you put the flanges on. Will there be anything near the edge of the, you know, near the cowling normally mounted? Oh, like, say, oh, I don't know, the oil cooler? Yeah, because of the oil cooler tray, uh, the third flange down on the right side has to get moved. I didn't take that into account. That's how smart I am. So yeah, I want because I want to have four. I want to have four cam locks on each side of the lower cowling, which we which we do. It's just there's going to be a little bit of space in between two of them. And look, it's no one's fault but my own. I understand that completely. Thankfully, the spacing of all of the rivets along that side are uniform. So, basically, all I really did was take the fourth flange, uh, move it down one rivet hole, and then put a, a, a shortened third flange just directly above it. So they fit. So there's two above the oil cooler, and then now two below. Could I have just removed all the flanges on that side and respaced them? Uh, yes and no. It was just easier to do it this way. And I don't care. All right, so uh, with that done, uh, I'm getting into the, I'm getting into the cow, into the front to do something. Oh, that's right. I tried to take the top off and I wound up getting a busted screw. <clears throat> that's just great. All right. Uh, 
Thank you for joining me, everyone. This is a special Sunday edition, having two videos this weekend, because I got so many, I just got to get these things out. Thank you for joining me. See you soon.